Good Tuesday evening, meteorologist Evan Stewart here with an update on what's going on in the tropics. We have a brand new tropical depression that formed at 11 o'clock this morning. So let's give you the latest on what's going on out there. As we mentioned, the latest on the tropical depression. First, we'll talk about the Atlantic hurricane season. We just passed the peak of hurricane season. This is when you go back over 100 years and look at all the tropical storms and hurricanes sort of average out when they form, when they peak, and when there's a lot of activity going on in the tropics. You can see that it peaks around September 10th. So we just passed that and it has been a quiet season. We still though have about half of the season to go. You can see that we oftentimes see a little bit of a peak as we go into the month of October before that really sharp decrease towards the end of the month. So we still have about a month and a half to go before we are really out of the highest threat for tropical systems in the Atlantic and the Caribbean. So as we take a look at the wider view right now all across the Atlantic Basin. This is North America, South America. We have Africa over here and this really does stick out in the middle. That is our brand new tropical depression. Was an area of interest as it came off the coast of Africa. We watched it for several days as it passed south of the Cabo Verde Islands. Got in here into the intertropical convergence zone where we see a lot of tropical systems form this time of year and it's slowly getting itself organized. Still not totally organized enough to be classified as a tropical storm. So it is a depression right now with winds of 35 miles per hour. But as we take a look at the satellite view, you can really see that fire up of some thunderstorms here as we've gone through the day today. But they're also mainly off towards the east side of that center of circulation. So we're still seeing some upper level winds that are sort of coming in here and ripping the storm apart. And those upper level winds will continue. So we're not expecting any kind of significant strengthening with this system, but we do expect it to pick up a little bit of strength and develop into a tropical storm, maybe later tonight or into the day on Wednesday. If it does develop into a tropical storm, it will be named Fiona. Right now, the storm, at least as of the five o'clock advisory, is located 745 miles east of the Leeward Islands, moving west at 13. Expected, as we said, to strengthen into a tropical storm with winds of 45 miles per hour later tonight and tomorrow, and then by Friday afternoon, approach the northern Leeward Islands, and then by Saturday afternoon around the U.S. Virgin Islands and approaching the island of Puerto Rico. Beyond that, that's where we start to see some questions. This is the official forecast track, carries a storm close to the island of Hispaniola, that's the Dominican Republic, and Haiti still maintaining its strength. Earlier forecasts had it weakening as it was a little more over the islands. There are mountains that are over 10,000 feet tall on Hispaniola that serve to disrupt the system. And also if it's overland for a longer period of time, it's not getting that strength from the warm waters. Beyond Monday, computer models are literally all over the map on where this storm could go. Here are the latest computer models as the storm moves off towards the west. And then as you can see, once we get towards Puerto Rico and beyond that, a big divergence of where the computer models are saying the storm could go. Some take it down into the Caribbean. That's not very likely. The Canadian model, that's the CMC, carries it over towards the Gulf of Mexico. That's probably not likely. And quite a few including the Europeans start to curve it off towards the north, whether that's back here closer to Puerto Rico or over closer to the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos remains to be seen. This pink line right in there, TVCN, that's the consensus or the average of what all the computer models are saying. And you can see once you average them all out, it does turn the system here east of the Bahamas. Beyond Wednesday into Thursday, Friday, or next weekend, whether the storm is off the coast of North America, curves way out into the North Atlantic, or it's closer to the areas of Georgia and South Carolina and Florida, or possibly, although not likely, into the Gulf of Mexico remains to be seen. So that's something, of course, we'll be watching, especially as we get into the next weekend. So this is still quite a ways away. As we mentioned, the next storm on the list would be Fiona. We've had three tropical storms, Alex, Bonnie, and Colin. And then we had two hurricanes, Danielle and Earl. And of course, we'll always keep you updated on our 13 News Now website. We can go to our Hurricane Center, find out all the latest information of what's going on in the tropics, and download our 13 News Now hurricane guide that's been updated for 2022. So of course, as we go here through the remainder of the week, the weekend, and of course, the rest of hurricane season, we'll keep you updated.